All right, what's cracking, everybody? Um, new video. Um, so this video, we're not gonna be clowning. Um, this video is actually not in my comfort zone for the videos that I like to put out. <clears throat> um, this video I felt was necessary. So a few weeks back, maybe two weeks ago, Somebody left a comment talking about, hey, why don't you talk about when Big U knocked out them 30-something Mexicans in, a, in one riot, right? And I laughed. I laughed because I was like, oh, this is a troll, right? Um, then one of my subscribers was like, hey, check out this link, man. What's up with the Big U saying he knocked out 31 Mexicans in, uh, in Pelican Bay? And I was like, hold up. He sent a link, right? So... So I went over there and I listened. I'm going to play the audio on this video right now. Okay. And I want to say. <clears throat> I've always said that what goes on behind the walls belongs behind the walls. Um, I want to also say that from everything that I've ever heard of or seen about um, Big U. And remember, it, I've heard it and seen it from afar. I don't know the individual. But I've always thought he was a. Um, a reputable individual, at least with his people, right? And and with that, you would expect a certain um, professional type of conduct, especially when you've been in the, the, the joint, you know what I'm saying? Like, you expect a motherfucker with his kind of stature and status to, uh, you know, keep it, keep it real at all times, you know what I mean? Um, and so... <clears throat> I've told you guys before in other videos, I was there in Pelican Bay. I was on B facility when that happened, right? The issue, why it started, the guy that 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 uh, was disrespectful lived directly uh, downstairs from me. The cell directly below me, right? The first time any black shot callers were approached about the issue, I was there. Me and one individual went. The homie I went with did the talking. I was just there strapped up in case something went sideways, right? And so, um, I don't know if people don't know the get down of Raza behind the walls. I can't speak for the North, but I know it's pretty, it's pretty much the same thing. But I know for down South, let's be a uh, 100%. A thousand percent clear. Somebody like Big U um, would have been a target. Everybody would have known who he was, and everybody would have known if it if it jumps, that's who you get. Okay. Um. So let's go ahead and uh, <clears throat> let's watch this. Uh, this footage, I didn't put all the footage because I already know I'm going to get demonetized because I don't own the rights to that footage. Um, so uh, I put some of it, but all you got to do is 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 uh, go on YouTube and search Pelican Bay Riot 2000 and you can watch the whole thing. So check it out and I'm going to talk on the back and remember. Big U is going to be talking. The audio you're going to hear is Big U. For the most part, it's going to be WAC 100. I don't know why WAC 100 is talking. He wasn't there, but that's what he does. And I think that maybe um Big U fell into one of WAC's traps and started saying shit that he knew wasn't real. And, you know, at least it wasn't in Pelican Bay. So check it out, and then I'll get at you on the back end. As a what? Just in the, on the yard. Oh, Big U, he got the record, 32 knock. Big U, he got the record, 32 knockouts, one ride. Over, over, Big U, see how he was on the pitches? I ain't taking nothing from him, but I mean... Wait, hold on, wait. You knocked 32 niggas out on one ride? It was a ride, it was a hundred and... It was a document. 129 
He uh, knocked no against he 19 knocked, blacks. He knocked no thirsty 30. <laughs> I got him asleep, <laughs> though. I'm going to take a soul against 19 blacks. He knocked no thirsty 30. 30 for niggas out on camera. I got him asleep, though. I'm going to pile rope, my nigga. I'm just going to... Look, nigga, what's wrong? Look, you had to put some bacon coat on that shit. Look, nigga, what's wrong? You ain't putting that coat on that shit. Look, nigga, what's wrong? You ain't putting that coat on that shit. Look, nigga, what's wrong? You ain't putting that coat on that shit. Look, nigga, what's wrong? You ain't putting that coat on that shit. Look, nigga, what's wrong? You ain't putting that coat on that shit. Look, nigga, what's wrong? You ain't putting that coat that's a long time yeah, on yard. That's a long so, ride. So, hey, hold on, hold on. So, so when you went down three times, three people so, got see, shot. So, look, look, let, so let, me, you, let me paint another picture. Wait, hold on. So you talking so about a nigga that's with, probably you had 32 niggas. 89 pounds lighter. Niggas getting up and getting down. You was all this. Look, you talking about You talking about somebody. Let me paint another picture. Dog, that was probably 80 or 90 pounds lighter, fifth degree black belt, or the street squad. <laughs> was who was which one? I mean, how many people soldiers was it? Was nine, it was only 19 blacks all together. It was nine blacks for war with the Mexicans. How many Mexicans? Mexicans and whites? It was 129, 129 Mexican whites on the yard. Damn. Hey, wait, 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 we wait, got wait, out. Wait. Niggas got out. You, know, you ain't put no fucking 19 work 19 in. You wasn't there. You yeah, wasn't I mean, any motherfucking right. I didn't been places with him. Me and him pulling up. He in my car. Soon as he get away from me, hey, cuz, what they tell you? Fuck you doing with cuz? Cuz be on the yard tripping. <laughs> no, it was one of them situations where everything you hit, yeah. every punch you threw, every kick I threw, it was one of them situations. Wait, 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 we hitting, we hitting wait, eight, nine, ten quarters. Wait, 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 wait. We back arm and 300 pounds. But let niggas me, is in that mother... Nigga roll out the bed and do no, five and push us. Wait, let me get this. That's your right, the whack. Uh, so you mean to tell me? Oh, he got that. Big U, Eugene Henley. Given the situation, I'm going to go to the when I couldn't do it. In the yard. In the yard. 260. 260? No, I was uh, 230. 230, sir. 230. Right. 230. Right. 230. Right. 230. Right. 230. Something, right? Jerry Curl dripping. No Jerry Curl. <laughs> <laughs> Little Curl. No Jerry Curl. That was in Minnesota. What, what, what you had back then? What kind of cut? Right here. Damn, you shit had. You had already had. That activator fried his head. <laughs> Killed his, killed his roots. You had already had the convertible. Sure. And you just in the yard just. Well, now, you know what? But you know what? But then Everything. you got to mix the street fight in with that, too. You got to yeah. mix the straight, the, the initial no takeoff. No exaggeration. They came to me the next day with the tape and showed us. The, no, they came to us. He was in the hole. 15 days. No, we was all on lock. They locked the yard back down because it was too many of us to send to the hole. So they only took the people that went to the hole was the ones who actually had puncture wounds, injuries, cuts, and shit injuries. like that. Those only ones go to, straight to the hole. Everybody else get locked down. Everybody on the yard gonna get locked down so they can separate who else. Then they go with your FI cards. I mean, then they go with the uh, schismatics to see where they picked you up. They picked you I mean, nine was close to you. Was any? I mean, nine is close to you. So that's how they do it. They they try to freeze the yard. So when the yard first go down, we get into the first altercation. We, we demo one. And then they get the best of us on this side. So then the police come, they hit the thing, they shoot, so they stop, the yard stop. Then they take off again. Yeah, we get back and then, up. And then it's, it's going again, and they start shooting again. So one or two people get shot. Now we all regrouping, everybody looking and find out. Then we going again. <laughs> so now this shit go on for maybe... That's a long time, eight minutes. Fifteen minutes. Give me twenty. All right, so you guys just saw the video. You heard the audio. Now, you know, again, I don't look, I don't ever glorify what goes on behind those walls because there's nothing glorious about it. There's nothing. Um, nobody should want to aspire to live that type of life. Nobody should, you know, in this day and age, we should all want to be better fathers and brothers and, you know, better our circumstances and, you don't want to build things for our family and, you know, whatever, man. But we want to be positive. Um, but like I said, people ask me to to speak on this and I am now. Um, I could be honest. I could tell you guys what really happened that day and it would hurt feelings. And all I would be doing is telling the truth. But again, I'm not here to glorify. You see what's happening in the video. You don't see a single Black karate master. You don't see no Mexicans laid out. And when you watch the full vid video on the full footage, you're only going to see one Mexican on the ground on his back. And that's the homie Sharky that got shot. 
in the face by the cops and murdered that day. The only Mexican on the ground. You're not going to see any of the blacks. You know, I don't want to go into it. You know, I don't glorify it. I have a lot of, and I'm thankful for all the black subscribers I have. The fact that he's saying it was 129 whites and Mexicans. There was no whites involved. At all. You can't even find a white boy in that video attacking nobody. Um, you also see that there's more than 19 blacks. Just on the handball court alone, there's more than 19. But if you look to the right side, down the way, the fence, there's more blacks being attacked down there too. I know for a fact the numbers on the yard. There was 120 blacks and there was 120 Mexicans on that yard. And if you look on the left side, you see a fence. There's other people on that side. And so um, it's a damn shame um, and something to make sure that people understand. That was Pelican Bay. That was Pelican Bay beef facility. Back then, that was, that was known as the gangster yard. 90% um, of that yard was tipped up. Very experienced hitters. Somebody like Big U, they would have sent the most experienced hitters on him. And I don't care if 20, 30, 40, 50 degree black belt. They know what they're doing. You know, these dudes know. They had a lot of dudes on that yard that were from down south. that had institutional murders. You know, killing with their hands. So, um, you know, this is one thing I will say. I will give him the benefit of the doubt. That day, all the youngsters, you know, the Bloods, the Crips, shout out to the Bloods and Crips, shout out to the, the Barrier, the Kumis, non affiliated Black. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody behind the walls. But the reality is this, man. All the youngsters that did a lot of this, they ran, point blank. They ran that day. The only ones that did not run were the OG Blacks, the ones that had C numbers, B numbers, D numbers. There was very few of them, and they stood where they were, and they took a major, uh, some major injuries, you know. Um, but they didn't run. I believe Big U wouldn't have ran. But I also know that because of uh, the influence that he has, he would have been a target and he would have had a lot of people on him. And I don't think he would have um, done well at all, you know. But again, this isn't about what would have happened. This is about an individual at that stature being on a platform that he was on that day with that many people listening and speaking propaganda. The fact that he said the cops came to his cell with the videotape to show him. Where are they going to play it in? You know what I mean? Like, I don't get it. You know, I'm for the Rasa being united. I'm for brown and black unity. Brown and black understanding and healing. Um, somebody with this kind of stature. Putting that bullshit out there. Pumping dudes up for a failure. It's not cool, man. You know what I mean? Um, so that's my two cents That's the reality Again, you can look at the footage Fuck what I'm saying Find a white boy in that video attacking blacks Find a find a karate master On the black side That's that's even trying to put up a fight Let alone knocking anybody out With that amount.